Well, in a motion filed under seal weeks ago and released publicly today by the judge in the case of the United States of America versus Donald J. Trump, Special Prosecutor Jack Smith asked the judge to issue two separate orders, one of which was to shut up. Donald Trump's lawyers opposed everything that Jack Smith asked the judge to do. Jack Smith asked the judge to impose four rules on any polling of the Washington, D.C. jury pool that Donald Trump's defense lawyers might want to do. The proposed rules would require any polling questions to be submitted to the judge for approval and for all polling to be completed 30 days before jury selection would begin. Jack Smith requested those rules in a brief passage at the end of a 19-page motion, the first 17 pages of which ask the judge to tell Donald Trump, finally, to shut up. The motion to, uh, asks Judge Chutkin that, that to use a method that Donald, Trump, that Donald Trump is using a method that he tried to use to overturn the presidential election, the same method he is now using in this case, quote, to undermine confidence in the criminal justice system and prejudice the jury pool. Jack Smith's motion says, after election day in 2020, the defendant launched a disinformation campaign in which he publicly and widely broadcast knowingly false claims that there had been outcome determinative fraud in the presidential election and that he had actually won. In service of his criminal conspiracies through false public statements, the defendant sought to erode public faith in the administration of the election and intimidate individuals who refuted his lies. The defendant is now attempting to do the same thing in this criminal case to undermine confidence in the criminal justice system and prejudice the jury pool through disparaging and inflammatory attacks on the citizens of this district, the court, prosecutors, and prospective witnesses. The defendant's conduct presents a substantial likelihood of material prejudice to these proceedings, and the court can and should take steps to restrict such harmful extrajudicial statements. The defendant has an established practice of issuing inflammatory public statements targeted at individuals or institutions that present an obstacle or a challenge to him. The defendant knows that when he publicly attacks individuals and institutions, he inspires others to perpetrate threats and harassment against his targets. And so, federal prosecutors are asking a federal judge to prevent a former president who was accused of trying to defraud the United States by overturning a presidential election from defrauding the United States by disrupting the administration of justice in federal court. No judge in American history has ever seen a motion like this one that Jack Smith filed trying to get a former president of the United States to shut up, to stop trying to prejudice his future jury, to stop trying to intimidate witnesses, to stop lying about the judge in the case, to stop lying about the prosecutors. Jack Smith's motion points out that Donald Trump has called Judge Chutkin, quote, a fraud dressed up as a judge in Washington, D.C., who is a radical Obama hack and a biased Trump-hating judge. Jack Smith points out that Donald Trump has attacked the jury pool itself, saying that Washington, D.C. is filthy and crime-ridden and is over 95 percent anti-Trump. The motion quotes Donald Trump's attacks on the prosecutors and Donald Trump's lies about President Biden participating in the prosecution, quoting Donald Trump saying, Joe Biden directed his attorney general to prosecute his rival. This is not an independent justice department. This is not an independent special counsel. This is being directed by the commander in chief. Through such posts, the defendant is attempting to submit his false and inflammatory claims to the public and jury pool outside of court because he knows 
that any such claims made before the court in the form of motions to suppress or, or of vindictive prosecution will fail because they must be supported by evidence of which there is none. The defendant has publicly bolstered certain prospective witnesses in this case while attacking others in an effort to influence the public's and the jury pool's impressions of potential witnesses outside of the courtroom. The defendants repeated inflammatory public statements regarding the District of Columbia, the court, prosecutors, and potential witnesses are substantially likely to materially prejudice the jury pool, create fear among potential jurors, and result in threats or harassment to individuals he singles out. Put simply, those involved in the criminal justice process who read or hear the defendant's disparaging and inflammatory messages from court personnel to prosecutors, to witnesses, to potential jurors may reasonably fear that they could be the next targets of the defendant's attacks. Jack Smith asked the judge to impose restrictions on Donald Trump's public statements, saying the government's proposed order specifies that such statements would include a statements regarding the identity, testimony, or credibility of prospective witnesses, and b statements about any party, witness, attorney, court personnel, or potential jurors that are disparaging and inflammatory or intimidating. The order is not intended to prohibit quotation or references to public court records of the case or the defendant's proclamations of innocence. The defendant's past conduct, including conduct that has taken place after and as a direct result of the indictment in this case, amply demonstrates the need for this order. The defendant's statements reasonably could have a material impact on the impartiality of the jury pool while simultaneously influencing witness testimony.